mean, there's so many people that are not happy. I'm talking about Holy Ghost filled, tongue talking, Bible carrying, blessing of Abraham bearers are not happy. A lot of people are not happy. And you know, the thing is, you, you and I have to understand people are not happy in a, for a lot of different reasons. People aren't happy with the way they look. People aren't happy with the people that they're married to. I mean, you got married people that wish they were single, and you got single people wish they were married. People just aren't happy. And God wants us to be happy. He wants us to be content. He wants us to be content. That is the will of God for your life. But here's some things we need to understand. Your happiness is not someone else's responsibility. You've got to learn to be content all by yourself. Because if you can't be content by yourself, you're going to be miserable with somebody else. The Word of God is the instruction manual for you and I if we're going to learn how to be content in every situation. Whether you have a job or you don't have a job. Whether you're married or you're single. Whether you have a, a, a lot of money or you have a little bit of money. Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things he suffered. He said even though he was the son of God, he learned obedience by the things that he suffered. The suffering that Jesus went through was he was rejected by the people who should have received him. He was talked about by the people who should have known who he was. And see, sometimes that flesh has to suffer rejection to learn the power of God's acceptance. Sometimes you will go through some things. Sometimes you will face some difficulty. Sometimes the people that you think would have your back would stab you in it. And you're going to learn some stuff. <laughs> when people have betrayed you, you will learn how to pray. Sometimes you'll learn that the people that you put your trust in were not trustworthy. You're going to learn some things. Jesus didn't, he didn't move from his assignment because of what he went through. He didn't quit his assignment because of what he went through. He stuck with his assignment and he looked to God to rescue him instead of people. And see, if Jesus learned through what he went through, child of God, you can learn some things and I can learn some things through what we've been through. Seeds of greatness, of greatness. Seeds of greatness in you. We believe, we believe. There are seeds of greatness. Seeds of greatness. Seeds of greatness. Seeds of greatness. Seeds of greatness.